At six, a show of unity from parents of some of the victims of the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas shooting. We must be the last families to lose loved ones to mass murder in a school. Tonight, passionate pleas to prevent another school tragedy. The parents gathered at the school this afternoon and told a PAC news conference that the state legislature should enact reform supported by Governor Rick Scott. The latest out of Tallahassee in a minute. But first, CBS 4's Gary Nelson is live in Parkland with more on the emotional pleas made today. Gary? Well, Elliot, the parents who gathered here at the school today uh, would not as a group condemn the measure that's working its way through the legislature now, but they said before the legislature adjourns at the end of the week, it must pass some gun control. Parents of the school massacre victims held a prayer circle and then broke a huddle. With a shout of MSD strong, they then urged the legislature to pass a gun control measure making its way through the House and Senate. Ryan Petty's daughter, 14 year old Elena, was among the murdered. We must be the last families to lose loved ones to mass murder in a school. This time must be different, and we demand action. Lori and Elin Alhadef lost their daughter, Alyssa, 14 years old. One of us died that day. Alyssa's dad painfully detailed his daughter's wounds. My daughter was shot in the heart, in the spine, in the femur, in the femoral artery. If she lived, she would have been paralyzed for life. A graphic argument for the state and Congress to pass measures to keep guns from disturbed people, provide more mental health services, and harden schools. We need layers and layers and layers of security measures in these schools to make them safe. As a group, the parents would not oppose the current bill that does not ban assault weapons and allows teachers to be armed. Fred Gutenberg, whose 14-year-old daughter Jamie was murdered, explained it this way. We accept the fact that it is right now the minimally acceptable effort that you can get passed in Florida. But Linda Beagle, whose son Scott was killed, made it clear she opposes gun-wielding teachers and wants assault rifles outlawed. 100% on both. No teachers armed with weapons in school and a ban on assault weapons. But for now, the parents will take what they can get. Let's protect our kids, protect our schools. And even a flawed beginning, they say, is a good start. Uh, now, let's discuss for just a moment the issue of school teachers being armed, trained, uh, and carrying weapons on campus. It's important to note that at this point in the process, in the measures coming out of the House and Senate, school districts would be allowed to opt out of that program. It's voluntary. There's not a school district or superintendent in the state who has come out in support of it. So that that would seem to be rendered a moot point. The issue of a ban on assault weapons, the legislature, the governor, they all oppose it. It is not going to happen. It's at least it's not going to happen this year, but it's a battle that gun control activists say they will live to fight another day, and they say they will continue to fight that battle. We're live in Parkland, Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News.